fortunate to have a Q&A with some guests today. Uh, before we get started, just a few notes on how we'd like this to go. It's not a big space, but I'd still uh, you, you know, like everybody to raise their hands high and wave them around if you have a question. It can get dark in the back. If you keep them brief, we'll have time for more of them, and I'll always do my best to repeat the questions for the benefit of everyone else here. Okay, please join me in welcoming back to the stage the director of Layla M, Mika De Jong, as well as Elias Adab, Franz Van Westel, and Jan Adam. off just by asking you about the film. You mentioned in your introduction that it took you four years to bring it together. I know that it was important for you to make this a very personal story, um, but given what you wanted to do and the climate in Europe right now, maybe you could just talk about how that all came together. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah we started four years, four years ago. Um, at the moment that I broke my ankle, so I was on the, on the couch, and uh, that was the start of the, the idea, but an idea is only an idea. Okay. Then we had to write the yeah. script, and Jan Eiland, the script writer, it took, us, took him, uh, most, uh, he was the, the main writer, so uh, we started the journey together with Franz, the producer, to research, first, uh, first we did a lot of research, basic research about the Koran, we, we read a, a lot, and then, Jan started writing, and I went to the mosque. Uh, I went to sister, uh, sister uh, meetings, and then um, Elias was a, was a, a come to the team, and we did a lot together with Nora as well. So we, uh, yeah, we, we did a lot of interviews, and we met uh, <coughs> girls with the same uh, same background. So finally, there was the, the script was there, and then it took us. Like a year, eh? something like that. Yeah, it, uh, it took us uh, rear, uh, almost a year to do research. Um, in the beginning, that was a funny story that uh, I was asked by Micah to look for Lila. So I was doing the auditions to, and I saw all the different kinds of Lilas. And eventually, <laughs> we took the best one. <laughs> Thank God. And uh, after that, we started doing research. So, we, for example, we went to this trial where there were like uh, 14 uh, biggest jihadists of the uh, Netherlands. And uh, we started visiting and learning and see how they think, how they act. And after that, we also did a lot of rehearsals. Uh, we went to Germany, we went to a bungalow, we stayed there for a nice weekend, <laughs> like only practicing and rehearsing. And uh, finally, I'm really proud of Nora and of about Mike and about myself as well, about the result. So, yeah. so you talked a little bit about the casting of Layla and Nora in the role, and this was actually her first film, believe it or not. Mm. Uh, so maybe you could talk a little bit about what you did with her to help get her in the moment. I know we talked a little bit about this the other night and some of the more difficult scenes. Yeah, for, yeah. It was that was. I think it was the most, uh, the the biggest uh, outdaging challenge. challenge to get her into the moment because she she was uh, um, the, the the first. I think the first month and Ilias always uh, he always helped Counter. her. What? Counterplay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He helped her a lot because she was. She know she knew everything. I said, okay, Mike. I know it and I know it, but it's oh, it's only in my head and I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't bring it, bring it to my belly or express it. And then there was a moment the two of them had a, a it was also a rehearsal, and then she was uh, like this, like this, and then I clapped so just in front of her face, and she didn't react. She didn't react. So I said, okay, and now do you see what Thank happens? Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, suddenly she was there, and from 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 that moment it was yeah, it it, it, it worked out. And we did also things like, for example, for the last the last scene in the film, Nora and Ilias, they didn't see each other before sh shooting. So she never saw him so without a beard. beard. Yeah. So the so reaction was, was, was real. Was real. It was, and it was we her did. first reaction that she saw me without a beard. So, <laughs> I, <laughs> so it was, so you, you can feel it. it was, uh, she, was, she was shocked <coughs> by the, this was the first, and we did a lot of things like that, that I given, and I say something to Ilias, she don't know, and then do the other way around. Okay, 
is there any questions in the audience? Yes, just in the front aisle here. Yes. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm deaf, and even though I speak English, I still need the English parts to be subtitled. If just for your uh, uh, knowledge for the uh, DVD release of the film, if that's okay. Uh, so the um, the person in the audience is deaf, um, so he was able to read the subtitles, but just to note that um, always closed captioning for DVDs is helpful for everybody. Thank you. Um, yes, in the middle. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for making the film and for coming. I was curious if you have plans to screen the film in certain communities in, in Europe or to encourage dialogue or um, action. So first to compliment about how much you love the film um, and whether or not you have any plans to screen the film uh, in Europe with certain communities to encourage a dialogue about the subject matter. Yes, we did. You, we will do uh, from the start uh, of the developing of this feature. Uh, our aim was to connect. The film is, is not about dividing, it's, but it's about connecting. And as we all know, but we, uh, there's a lot of uh, divergent movements going in Europe. Uh, although we choose to, to tell it from the Dutch perspective, but I think the Dutch perspective is uh, close to a lot of uh, Western perspectives. And um, uh, by developing, doing the research, uh, and shooting the film, we made a lot of appointments with different kind of communities to show the film, not to, w not to wait for them to come to the cinema, but we go to them. Uh, that's one, and we, are, we have a close connection, uh, not only to the Moroccan society in Amsterdam, but we, we are also connected with uh, uh, the government, uh, because they're interested to show the film at schools. Uh, that's what will happen most probably in the Netherlands. Uh, what will happen outside the Netherlands depends on the festival and the sales of the film. <laughs> so I hope the film will spread like uh, enormous, but we know that in a week. Tell everybody how much you like it. <laughs>